The aggregate material has been prepared for you and has been soaking at least 24 hours. Obtain approximately 1,000 grams of the fine aggregate from the sample and put it in the pan. See. While some of your team is preparing the aggregate sample to dry, another person can carefully clean the pan and dry it, making sure the pan is free from any aggregate. Remove excess water with care to avoid loss of fines. Spread the sample on a flat, non-absorbent surface. Set the heat gun to high and move across the aggregate about 6 to 12 inches above it, stirring frequently to ensure a homogeneous drawing. Be careful not to blow the aggregate all over. Continue this operation until all the free water has evaporated. At this time, do the first trial of the cone test, knowing that some surface water will still be in the specimen. To do the cone test, hold the cone firmly inside the pan with the large diameter down. Scoop the loose aggregate and pour it into the top of the mold. Keep adding the aggregate until it overflows the top of the cone. Tamp the aggregate by dropping the tamper no higher than 5 mm above the top of the surface of the aggregate. Lightly tamp the aggregate into the mold with 25 drops of the tamper. Once you've reached 25 tamps, remove the loose sand from the base and lift the mold vertically. If the surface moisture is still present, the fine aggregate will retain the molded shape. Maybe lower the temperature on the heat gun as you continue to dry it. Test at frequent intervals using the cone test until the aggregate has reached a surface dry condition. When the fine aggregate slumps slightly, it indicates that it has reached a surface dry condition. Once you've reached the surface dry condition, weigh the clean, empty pan, tear it, and add 500 plus or minus 10 grams of saturated surface dry fine aggregate. From this point on, it is vital that not any particles are lost. Next, fill the pycnometer with approximately one inch of water. Carefully using a funnel, slowly add the aggregate into the pycnometer. Use the water bottle to rinse the pan and funnel, making sure all the aggregate is in the pycnometer. Fill the pycnometer with additional water to approximately one inch below the bottom of the neck. Manually roll, invert, and agitate the pycnometer to remove all the air bubbles from the aggregate. Fill the pycnometer Now adjust the temperature of the pycnometer and its contents to 23 plus or minus 1.7 degrees Celsius by placing the pycnometer in a water bath for approximately 10 minutes. Measure it to the bottom of the meniscus. Dump the contents of the pycnometer into the clean and dry pan. Use the water bottle to remove all aggregates from the pycnometer. Place overnight in an oven with a temperature of 110 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. The following day, cool at room temperature for one plus or minus one half hour and weigh.